is up guys Insano James back with another video I want to talk about Jump Force what characters have been added what characters that should have been added and what needs to be fixed with something that I've been noticing and other people have been making videos and I figured I need to add this to one of my videos because it's something that that should be fixed before the game is released and I'm gonna get into that um, now, if you play, if, now I haven't been able to play the beta yet, but from gameplay footage and people complaining that, you know, back when they had, now this is something that they did in J-Stars. Now, I never did play J-Stars, also in the Xenoverse, uh, I didn't bother, they only had like two characters or three characters I was familiar with, um, but... They did where if you played the game, now you you could tag in and out with other characters. Now, if you start off with the first character that you picked, and you're already taking damage, other people on your team are taking damage as well from the from the character you're playing as. I'm like, well, what the fuck, guys? Um, that's that's bullshit. Like, why is my other characters taking damage? when they haven't even been uh tagged into the into the fight yet to play to to battle um so i play with the one character he's taking damage so the other two characters i'm i'm playing with are going to take damage has already taken damage before even entering the battle that's uh that's that's bullshit guys i mean come on uh not don't get me wrong i'm looking forward to jump force i've already pre-ordered it I'm, I can't wait. Now, I want to talk about some of the characters that should be added and some that probably won't be added, but I would love to see in the game. Um, now, this probably won't happen because there are separate uh, you know, franchises. Um, I'd like to see Mega Man in the game. I'll tell you that, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I know it's. I know he's a Capcom character. I know he is Capcom, and he did have a. He did have his own show at one point, but I would like to see him added to the game. That would be really cool. Um, now there has been a character that was added to the game, which I was a little surprised because, but I kind of figured it would have happened, um, and I wasn't the only person that mentioned this. Uh, they added Kinshiro, or I call him, you know, Ken. The Ken doll? No, I'm kidding. But no, from uh, Fist in the North Star, you know, I played the demo and I was like, that'd be really cool if they added him to Jump Force. And then what happens the next day? I look at a video, and they added him to the game. And I thought that was really cool. Um, I was glad to see him in the game. Uh, you know, and another thing I want to I want to talk about um, before I you know mention a, a few other characters I'd like to see in the game. This is really. Um, another Dragon Ball Z game to tell you the truth I mean I mean it is I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have fun with the other characters and I'm, I'm I want to be honest I'm not I'm not familiar with a lot of the anime characters that are in this game I'm with with a select few obviously the Dragon Ball Z characters but I'm familiar with Naruto uh, you know Ken Luffy um, you know those characters I'm, I'm familiar with those you know, and, and we got like, what, five or six Dragon Ball Z characters in the game? And that's why I said this is really another Dragon Ball Z game. Because we already got like five or six Z characters added to the game. We got, you know, Vegeta, Goku, obviously. You know, we got Cell, Frieza, Trunks, Piccolo. I mean, and, and not to mention, you get to make your own avatar. Now, I don't know if you're able to play it with your avatar, because at the beginning of the game... What do you start off with? You start off with uh, a male ver. You make you make a male character uh, avatar, and he ha and he has Vegeta's uh, outfit on. I'm like, well, this is really just another Z uh, Dragon Ball Z game. I mean, we already got Xenoverse, we got Dragon Ball Fighters now, and then we got Jump Force, which is really another Dragon Ball Z game. Now, I'm not saying. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not saying any of the characters in the game are bad because I mean they looked awesome. Uh, I'm I'm looking forward to it, obviously, because I, I pre-ordered it. 
I'm just I'm not really familiar with a lot of the characters. Now I think they added more Z characters to the game because that is like the biggest anime show in America, other than other uh, you know like Naruto or you know Digimon or you know Yu-Gi-Oh or Pokemon. You know that's one of the biggest you know anime shows that everyone knows. That is like you know if you talk about anime, you know somebody's gonna heard of Dragon Ball Z. Or Dragon Ball Super. It's just it's, or if you mention any of the other sh shows, they're like, I no, I haven't heard. You know, I mean, not a lot of people know of of Luffy or or uh, Naruto, which is getting bigger, by the way. I, I mean, I haven't watched it yet, but I I need to start my binge watching on that show. I have not yet started to watch that yet. Uh, you know, because I've been so much into Dragon Ball Z, I just never gave a chance to any of the other anime shows. That's that's uh, been out, you know, in America. But there's a uh, now. I want to talk about some of the characters that I think need to be added. I already mentioned Mega Man, which I don't think that's going to happen because he's a Capcom character. But he is, and he is anime. He is a anime type character. But I think they should add Sailor Moon. Another female character. Now, I've only seen one or two female characters in the game so far. Um, I think it. I think it'd be really cool if they added Sailor Moon. Now, I know um, over the years, Sailor Moon hasn't gotten a lot of love from from you know you, you know they don't even have a game. She hasn't even had her own game yet, and you know they've been making other games from some of the other anime shows. I've yet to see ever a Sailor Moon game. Now my sister, she is like the biggest Sailor Moon fan. She's got all kinds of Sailor Moon uh, stuff. I mean, she's got pop figures. She's got shirts. She's got the, the whole the whole series uh, on DVD, you know. And uh, I'm like, well, you know what? That I mean, she was an anime show, and why did the, I think they should add her? Or you know, she's not in the game yet, obviously, but put her in a DLC in the future. I think that'd be a a plus, you know, for the game, you know, give her own spotlight in the game, you know, um, now I know what, I don't, I'm not, uh, I don't have a lot of information on what the story is, now it's going to be story driven, and it's going to take place in, on Earth, and, uh, you know, obviously a lot of the anime characters are going to team up together to, you know, whatever, you know, leave a comment down low, let me know what the story is, I don't, I don't know yet, I haven't played the beta, um, and um, I think that uh, they need to fix that issue that I mentioned, you know, about the, you know, taking damage with one character and then the, the rest of your team's already taking damage without even being in the battle yet. That's something that needs to be fixed. And, uh, uh, you know, I was going to mention, you know, they got Yu-Gi-Oh, which was an anime show on on uh, Adult Swim or Cartoon Network. Um, why don't they add, like, Ash from Pokemon or or Team Rocket? You know, remember Team Rocket? You know, yeah, Jesse, James. And, uh, or, you know, maybe some Digimon characters, which I don't, I don't know if that would happen. Maybe, maybe, you know, like I said, you know, put some more characters in the game in the future, DLC. Um... But, yeah, those are my thoughts, guys. Uh, like I said, leave a comment down below. Who would you like to see in the game? I already named who I'd love to see in the game. Who should be added. That needs uh, some spotlight love. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to end the video here. This is Insano James. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.